everyone, so here I am doing a haul on my own, no Jesse, nothing. Because he can't really participate in this because he's not a hairstylist, he's a photographer. So here I am doing my, I don't know if it's called ice or if it's called Issy or is it called whatever, but we'll just call it the International Salon Spa Expo. I kind of went a little bit overboard. Actually, at first I didn't, then at the very end, I think it just got to the point where I was just like, oh my God, I gotta buy something. So I ended up buying a few things, but I'm pretty happy with all the purchases I bought because it's actually things that I actually need and use already. So this haul is gonna be for you hairstylists or hair enthusiasts or just people that just like watching hauls. So the first booth we actually went to, Jesse and I, he, I brought him along with me. <laughs> Such a good husband. We went to the Ibiza hair booth and I knew I wanted to pick up one brush there. And it's this brush right here. It's the, I wanna say the Ibiza 100% boar bristle. And it's the style number is CX3. I'm not quite sure why I got it, to be honest with you. I saw one of my, my hairstylist friends, Gregory, he had it with him. And I thought, and he was like, oh my God, it's so good for like blowing, blow drying the fringe, you know? So, so all I thought about was like, oh my God, I need a brush that'll blow up, blow dry the fringe. Even though I could use that with a, my medium round brush, but you know, me being excessive when it comes to my like hair tools, I had to get it and try it out. So yeah, and it's really nice to look at that dark wood. It's so rad. Do you guys see that? So we'll see. I'm sure I'll love it. While we were at the Ibiza booth, we ran into Aaron. He's the creator of Ibiza hair. And he actually hooked me up with like this gold comb. Seriously, how cool is this? It's freaking gold. I am not quite sure why, well, how I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna freaking use it because it's freaking gold. Who doesn't love gold? Look, it matches my ring. So rad. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron, again for this. And he also hooked me up with a water bottle. And look at that water bottle. Seriously, like you could put this and clip it onto your jeans if you're wearing it or a belt or something, you know, like a holster. Totally nerding out right now when it comes to hair. You hairstylists feel me on this. Everyone else is probably thinking like, oh my God, you're so nerdy. Like this is just hair stuff. Like who's really gonna use this? I am. I hope you guys saw our vlogs before so you guys would know how intensely crazy this hair show was. It's kind of a little overwhelming. I'm not really cool with like that many people, but at the same time, it's kind of fun at the same time. But yeah, it's super overwhelming to the point where you have no idea where you want to even start off. One of the booths that I really wanted to go to was Sheer World. They're based out in New York City and mostly available just online. So I definitely wanted to make sure I went by and grabbed a, a few things. And a few things meaning my combs. The Sesabon, this is what I used to cut. These are just Sesabon, C-E-S-I-B-O-N. If you guys want to go check it out, it's available on Sheerworld.com. I ended up buying a pack of 12. I love these. Why not? <laughs> and then while we were at Sheerworld, I decided to pick up some combs for Chaz Dean as well. These are the combs that he uses right here. These are actually the combs that I trained under and learned from as well when I was mentored by him. Uh, these are the, I hope I'm saying this right, it's Bu Pro Comb in style 107. These are both by Hongo. They're Japanese brands. They're cool. We use it all the time. Along with my YS Park combs, I do love these combs as well. The only reason why I don't use this one anymore really is because my fingers are really small and I just, out of comfort for me, these are more comfortable while I am cutting. The next booth we stopped by was Nancy's Beauty Warehouse. It's actually where I've gotten most of my irons from. I picked up these new irons. Even though I have my Enzo Milano's, I saw these and I was just like, oh, I just gotta get them because they had a really good deal with them. And they also matched the curling irons that I already have in my kit. These are the irons right here. Can you see it? I hope you guys can. It's basically a conical one. Uh, and this is a meat, I believe this is the large barrel and then I also picked up the medium barrel as well so just something to add to my kit just because it's with a white handle that I just wanted it to match you know and then the next booth we stopped by was the golden supreme booth I knew I wanted to get another iron holder this is it right here this is made for let me open it and I will show you I have a set of Marcel irons in one of these so I needed another one for my spring irons so this is how it looks 
This is actually made for press for pressing combs, but I use it for my irons. See, they, have, they come in little like slots. You can open this up, put the rod in there. Just keep it really neat and really organized. Because the reason why I love those iron rolls is because my hair kit, we have a lot of stuff. You hairstylists feel me. Being neat and being super organized just shows how professional you are and how serious you really take your career. Besides my Sessabon combs, a lot of the combs that I do use are my YS Park combs and I wanted to go to the booth and when we looked at the map, it wasn't there so I was kind of bummed out and while we were about to leave, we spotted Passion Beauty which is the place that carries all the YS Park combs and I was very, very happy. So while we were there, I picked up these tint brushes. I already have a couple of them and I love them. They're really small and dainty. I have really small fingers so it's very comfortable for me and look, they just look kind of cool and they work great for me. So I picked up three of these. And then the next item that I purchased, I have actually never used before and I wanted to try it out. It's been intriguing me for quite some time. It's this comb and tip brush right here. This is made specifically for when you're applying someone's base colors because you have the rat tail comb and you also have a comb. So very convenient. We'll see how it is. How it is. I'm sure I will probably like this. And once I start using it, I'm going to probably think, why was I not using this this whole time? So just to be safe, I purchased two. <laughs> and while we, I was in the color area, as you guys know that I, I love doing color, I also picked up a couple of new tint bowls. I bought, here we go. These are also by YS Park. I bought them in graphite. I got them in clear. And I also got them in a, like, a pink corally color. The reason why I bought three different colors is to show the difference between light, medium, and dark. And I wish I kind of got two more because, just to be safe, because sometimes I do more than three colors while I'm doing my highlights, low lights, mid lights, all that kind of whatever lights. <laughs> I also picked up a new sheer case. Look at this. Jesse actually picked this out. They're for my shears. So for my cutting shears, for my texturizing shears, my razor, um, combs, clips, and it's real leather and it looks pretty cool. So, updated my sheer case. And as I checked out, of course, I have to keep looking and I spotted this new thing here. It's a teasing comb because who doesn't need any more teasing combs? Because I seriously have enough, but I decided that I needed to add another one. The reason why this comb pretty much intrigued me was one, it said it was new, so of course. I had to look at it. <laughs> and it also has three sets of teeth. So it'll make teasing a little bit more efficient and a little bit easier without like ripping the girl's hair off. But you guys should know what the proper way of teasing is anyway. So if you don't, maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. So now I'm on to my last and final purchase from the show. And it's the best. So I'm totally saving the best for last because I'm really excited about these because I've wanted these for quite some time. But for some reason, I always talk myself out and I end up getting something else and I end up not even using that something else. So tonight, I finally decided to go get it because this is a brand that I always use. I own two pairs already and they're my go-to shears. And this is my new one. They're by Hakari. They're the new Cosmos. And these are in the 4.5. Look how tiny and awesome they are. Look at it. Oh, there's a... Look how rad they are. Totally awesome, dude. Oh, okay, that was totally Bill and Ted, but whatever. Do you guys remember that movie? Because I totally do. These are the new Cosmos in 4.5. I have a pair in 5 and a pair in 5.5. And yes, they really do make a difference. The size does matter. Don't say that's what she said. <laughs> Jesse's back there going, mm, I gotta say it, I really gotta say it. But no, for real, when you're cutting, it really, oh, it makes a difference. Quality over everything, man. Invest in good shears, you hair cutters. So yeah. So I guess that concludes my haul and I'm done. That was pretty quick and I hope you guys enjoyed it. For all you hair professionals, makeup artists, estheticians, anyone involved in the whole hair, makeup, beauty industry, I would totally suggest you checking out the iShow next year. It's definitely pretty fun and you get a lot of good deals. So definitely check it out. And if you guys were at the iShow, please comment down below and let me know what you guys got and what your thoughts are with the show as well. And I think that's about it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.